Do you want to give a speech that will win over your next audience or maybe even win a speech contest? In tonight's training, you'll learn how to give a winning speech. I'll cover three main components of a winning speech. Content or writing a good speech, performance or delivering it, and preparation. Several years ago, when I joined Toastmasters, my mentor taught me an invaluable lesson that content is king. Did you know that content counts for more than half the points when judging a Toastmaster speech contest? First, you need a good concept. Something interesting, clever, universal. You may want to make it your speech title or a one-liner throughout your speech. For example, I gave my award-winning speech in Toastmasters on the concept of my having a blended family and the challenges that brought. My husband and I got married 10 years ago and we had three girls and three boys, including the dog. I titled my speech, The Brady Bunch. And today, years later, fellow Toastmasters still call me Mrs. Brady. Next, you need a good beginning, middle and end. On your mark, Get set. Just like a runner starting a race where the audience is waiting for the word go, your audience will be waiting for your first line. They'll actually be holding their breath, held captive. Don't blow that opportunity on thanking Mary or Sue or your audience gathered here today, but make it powerful, make it count. You may wanna start with a bold statement, a famous quote, or a question. Or you might want to do what I did. I started my Brady Bunch speech like this. Here's the story of a lovely lady. Which brings me to my next point, story. You probably want to incorporate a good story in your speech. As a book coach, speaker at writers conferences, and college writing instructor, I teach my students to show, not tell. That means using description and specific words to paint a picture, tell a story. Aaron Beverly was a master at this, and he's now the world champion of public speaking. He shared in his speech all about a story when he was growing up and getting in trouble with his cousins. In fact, he titled his speech, An Unforgettable Story. So it must have worked. Our next area is performance. You don't want to just stand still and not move and be like a robot when giving your speech, but you don't want to move all over the place and fidget from foot to foot either. You want to have purposeful movement. When emphasizing a point, you may want to step forward or you may want to step back when thinking or expressing fear, anxiety, or sadness. Or you may want to move from side to side if you're having dialogue in your story or a conversation. In my Brady Bunch speech, I had a conversation with my stepdaughter, Morgan. Now, Morgan, you need to listen to me. Whatever, Michelle, whatever you say, you're always right. Did you see how I had purposeful movement and also vocal variety? That's also important in performance. You don't want to be monotone. That will bore your audience. You want to have highs and lows. You can even play characters in your story. Last but not least, you want your audience to hear your entire speech. Another mentor taught me that you, I needed to speak as if I'm talking to the person in the last row of the audience. Our last area in giving a winning speech is preparation. And I feel it's the most important of all. You wanna get a good night's sleep before you're about to give your speech the next day. You wanna stay hydrated, you need to breathe, and practice 
practice, practice. I feel that often the difference between a losing speech and a winning speech is that the winner simply practice more. In conclusion, you want to have good content, good performance, and good preparation to give a winning speech. When your mark, get set, go!